Okay, a quick video by request from a friend of mine here. I want to take a look at uh, vibration or ultra low signals, audio signals, and things like that using this uh, Tektronix real time spectrum of signal analyzer. Okay, start off with I've got the analyzer set up here for looking at a frequency range from 1 hertz out to 3 kilohertz, resolution bandwidth of uh, 10 hertz. Okay. And I can see that I'm getting a spectrum update here about uh, oh, three spectrums or so per second. Now compare that to say a conventional swept spectrum analyzer. If this was a conventional swept analyzer with a, a real 10 hertz RBW, this sweep would probably take somewhere between five and 10 seconds. Okay, but we're, we're certainly considerably faster than that because essentially what this instrument is doing is collecting data over this entire span uh, Instant, you know, continuously as opposed to sweeping and then doing, in this case, a chirp Z uh, transform, a discrete Fourier transform to give you the result. So it can do that uh, at these narrow RBWs much, much faster than a conventional swept analyzer can. Now this analyzer is special and it has a real-time engine in it in that I can take the data that's coming in from the front end and stream it through a real-time engine to do these computations of Fourier transforms orders of magnitude faster than uh, even a conventional modern digital uh, spectrum analyzer. So again, here we're doing about uh, you know, three, sp three spectrums per second. And if I hook up uh, my audio source, which in this case is just a little 8-ohm speaker, so it's just going to be used to pick up room noise and vibration, I'm just going to couple that into the analyzer here. And when I do that, I can kind of see, you know, kind of the spectrum of my voice as it's taken. Um, it's about a 250 millisecond acquisition that's required for each of these acquisitions to give me the spectrum result. But the real-time engine has the ability of, of uh, kind of doing these things kind of in a uh, sliding fashion with, you know, kind of overlapped Fourier transforms. And instead of giving me, you know, say, you know, five or ten results per second or three results per second like this, I can actually get on the order of 300,000 spectrum results a second. Let me show you what that looks like. So let's switch that over. Okay. So now this display is showing me uh, essentially the instantaneous spectrum of the signal is being picked up by that speaker uh, coupled into the front end here and just showing the instantaneous spectrum of that uh, live. Uh, we're computing on the order of uh, those, you know, again th almost 300,000 spectrums a second and then uh, throwing that, that into essentially a database and the colors are indicating how often areas are being occupied. So like the brighter or hotter colors, like the yellows and the reds, are areas that occupied most often. The cooler colors, like the light, like, you know, the green, the light blue, the dark blue, are areas that are occupied less often. If I snap my fingers here, you can kind of see, you know, that kind of pop up there. You know, as that, uh, uh, as those instantaneous, uh, the instantaneous spectrum of that sound is being picked up and converted to the display. So it gives you a really nice way of doing a live view of uh, what can happen with some of these slowly changing phenomena. And we can look at that a couple of ways too. Um, just as one example, I can put up what we call a spectrogram. A spectrogram is basically uh, taking the kind of the results that we're getting here and then once you're finished viewing them, kind of folding them up onto this display here and then rolling that stuff all through. So the vertical axis here is time, okay? The horizontal axis is obviously the same as the spectrum analyzer, but now color in this upper display is amplitude. So it's really a way of viewing how that spectrum is changing over time. And uh, you can see when I, in between my voices, you can see the activity going away. And then as I speak, you can kind of see uh, you know, essentially the voice print, if you will, <laughs> of, uh, of the signals kind of popping up and going away. And this can be, we can change the speed of how fast this is rolling if I want it to roll slower to kind of get a, a better view of kind of the long-term uh, variability of uh, the vibration or whatever that we're doing. We can slow this way down and, and really get a, a, a much longer term view. We can speed this up and get a much shorter term view to see what's going on. I can speed it up and go really fast. <laughs> okay. Uh, kind of do it you know, live in real time. And we could even show this in, uh, in 3D for kind of a neat effect kind of see how that spectrum is kind of rolling you know over in time so um, so this is just one aspect of being able to use you know a, a real-time analyzer to view kind of the instantaneous spectral characteristics of anything from microwave signals down to even in this case 
very low frequency audio and even sub audio uh, types of signals. If we look way down in the bottom corner here, we're going down to, to one hertz. Okay, uh, so it gives you the ability to, to really visualize what's going on uh, with these signals in a way that'd be very tough to see uh, with other tools.